And if you know the kind of brand and the people you want to attract, posting quality content will be at the back of your mind and you will always think about it. You don't have control over the subscriber count and how many people subscribe. If you create good video, you will know inside your heart that, ah, ah, I try. That is it. But you know inside of you, say, that video where you make no good. But if you like deceiving yourself, <laughs> like you have to go through a place of not knowing to a place where you now know. And then moving to a place where you know more than you know now. Do you understand? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is like a first time, you're welcome. My name is Bemi and I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. Please don't make it to your last. Click the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell button so that you can be the first to get content like this when I post them. And if it's not your first time, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I didn't want to waste you guys' time. In today's video, I'll be talking about the mistakes I made as a small YouTuber or let me say as a growing YouTuber because like I, I started YouTube off of not like impulse but at the time that I started YouTube I was like I've procrastinated this thing so long let me just start right so um these are the few mistakes or let me just say these are the mistakes I made and in this video I'll be highlighting five of the mistakes I made as a growing YouTuber if this looks like what you're interested in you definitely want to keep on watching oh, I don't want to take your time in this video so um the first mistake I made was me um thinking that i can know everything at once so there was this, when i started youtube i was i've watched like a quite number of youtubers but like, i love to watch vlogs i love to watch youtube videos a lot and i've watched like a quite number of youtubers as at that time right so by the time i started my youtube i was like i beat up myself a lot and i know that that's not a good thing so like I was like, I'm supposed to know this thing already with the um, videos I've watched. I'm supposed to like automatically know this thing. And I've forgotten that l seeing people do it and you actually doing it are two different things. I mean, you doing it is different from seeing people do it, right? So like I forgot that part and I was like beating myself up, trying to ask myself, why can't I do this? And forgetting that I have to like be on the job to learn certain things. I remember that um, I was struggling with my thumbnail at some point. And I wanted to just like, I wanted to see my thumbnail. I know that, oh, this is the person that has this video because it's already in your subconscious mind that this is what my thumbnails, thumbnail looks like. And that's kind of branding for me, which is going to help my channel grow to an extent. So, like, I was struggling with thumbnail before I arrived at what I'm using presently. Like, it took me a lot of time to, you know, get to, you know, this particular time. Th this particular one that I'm using presently, I don't so like I was just struggling. I was like, make like <laughs> it was not it, it was it was an hassle. And I remember talking to somebody, and the person was like, I should just keep posting. I should just keep making it, and with time I will figure it out. And I was not always happy, but like at the, as as I was doing it, I, I realized that I started getting better. I started getting precision and clarity on what I wanted my thumbnail to look like and all of that. And you know, with the help of looking at what other people are doing as well, especially the people that are growing your niche that you really want to be like. So like, I started like figuring out this thing one after the other. And it's not just about thumbnail, even content wise, editing and everything. You cannot know everything at once. Do you understand? Like you cannot know everything at once. You just have to like, you know, um, you just have to keep doing it and you learn on the job. You grow your skills by, you know, using the skills and doing that thing. When you, the more you do it, the more you learn. Because when you do it and you make mistakes, you know how not to do it the next time. You know how, to, you know how, to, you know what not to do the next time. I mean, and then you know the best way to do it. And then you ask questions, and then you know the better way to do it. Do you understand? Like knowledge is everywhere now. Everybody can learn and all of that. So um, you cannot know everything at once. That was the first mistake I made, and I was always beating myself up to it. Like I'm supposed to have known this and known that. Know that. This is like a journey that I've, not, I've ever like traded before and it's going to be like this because it's a journey, it's a process. I'm new to YouTube, I have to learn it, I have to grow into some of the things that, you know, the people that I'm looking at. I dream presently, they grew as well, they started from scratch and they are where they are. They've gone through the process, they've gone through the learnings and all of that. So I have to go through that too. And I'm happy that I, was, I subjected myself to that because it was very hard. Like I had times I was very insecure. I had to lose, lose everything because I feel like I should be doing more. Like, and it's a process. You can, if you want this thing to be like, for example, I, I, I prioritize organic growth a lot. And then I realized that, like I had to tell myself that if that is what you want, I have to come to the realization of that. It will take time 
and it will be worth it in the long run. So that was what, like, you know, gave me the mind, like, it, it made my mind be at rest. And I was like, okay, you know what? And I enjoyed the fact that I am going, like, at a pace that, not like, maybe I wanted more, but I, I love the fact that I can see my growth by myself, like, with what I am doing in my ends, I can see that, okay, I did this. There is a fulfillment that comes with that. That's a diversion. I, diver I diverted, right? But the point is, you learn on the job. Like, you learn. The more you do it, the more you learn. And that is the fun part of it. I mean, like, it makes you feel confident about yourself. Like, do you know since I've been doing this? Do you understand? Like, yeah, that's the first mistake I made. The second mistake I made as a, as a small YouTuber or, like, as a green YouTuber is not prioritizing quality content. So there was this time that I actually really was posting three times in a week. And I was like, I've, I've always said that, you know, consistent posting, if you want to grow your channel, you have to post nothing like than two times in a week. And if you post up to three times, your channel will grow and all of that. And that was October 2021. And I remember that that was the <laughs> month that I had the least views. And I think the thing is, consistency is very good. And if you've been watching my channel and you've been following me, you would realize that I have come to a realization of a new definition of consistency. And I said it in my last video that I made, that consistency is not really just about you coming up and saying, I want to be posting every day. What are you posting every day? How quality is it? How, how good is what you're posting every day? So I realized that this particular time, I was always worn out and I just want to post something. So I'll just be like, let me just post. And it's not just about posting. It's about the quality of what you put out. See, I'm at a point where I prioritize quality. Like, I have a lot of videos. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have a lot of reels from last year that I have not posted. I have not posted them because I didn't have time to edit them the way I want, right? I, I, I've come to the point where I respect the people that consume whatever it is I put out. Do you understand? Like, I respect everybody that consume whatever it is I put out. And because of that, I make sure that whatever it is that I put out there is worth their time, their energy, their resources, and everything. Do you understand? So, like, consistency is not, it's not just saying, I want to be posting every day. What are you posting every day? How quality is it? Like, do people find it helpful? Do people find it entertaining? Do people find it, like, is it a good content? So, even if it is maybe, like, once in a week, like, you know that you will posting quality content. I think it's better than just posting anything, right? I know that there's a place of growing into knowing like the best content that I've been there. And I know that there are some vlogs that I cannot watch again because I feel like I oh, I posted this vlog. Although like I I, 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 I love that I passed through the process, like right? I love that I passed through that process. Of course, if I didn't pass through that process, I cannot be here right now. Cause like, like I said earlier, it is a process, it's a journey. Like you have to go through a place of not knowing to a place where you now know. And then moving to a place where you know more than you know now. Do you understand? So I'm happy that I made those vlogs, but I cannot make those vlogs again, never. If that is the only thing that is remaining for me to post, I would rather post because, ah, no. I respect every single one of you watching my vlogs and following me on Instagram or whatever. I respect you so much. For me than me to post whatever and see it will come to a point in your life that you would actually be posting some things that you, the standard will not be high for you to not post just anything do you understand it may look like pressure but i think it's a good pressure that you know that ah people are already depending on me that i have good content if i go and post rubbish last some people will be disappointed yeah you have to get to that point so now i'm not saying that be very lazy that you know saying hey it's only one, one time it's only once in a week i can be posting good content if you know that you can stretch yourself and you have like the time to post two good content in a week please do i'm just saying that it is better to just post like and that was the mistake me i made thinking that if i just post anytime if i just post like a lot of videos people would watch it because like my channel will grow and all that it is about like i wish i prioritized quality content earlier like it was i think last year was it last year i it was last year that i started prioritizing quality content, and that was when i became inconsistent because usually I, w I would always post two videos in a week but at some point i realized that i wanted to see a video that i want to be able to like watch my own videos and be happy do you understand like and be happy and i don't mind if it takes me time to 
create i don't mind i realized that i started editing my vlogs for like six to eight hours what i would have just edited before and i don't mind because to even look for music to add to my vlogs takes its own time and i don't mind <laughs> so like i'm just saying that i didn't prioritize quality content in the first place i just wanted to post because you know i want to be seen as consistent not knowing that quality content is even better and like i said earlier consistency is posting quality content over time like it's just like quality with time quality how 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 um quality whatever it is you're doing is over time if you do something today that is okay that is very good everybody likes it and the other one you post is half hazard or and the next one you post is low below average that's not consistency it's not about how many times you post in a week it's about how quality your content is and i'm not saying quality is not based on how many how many views you have let me say that again Quality content is not based off of how many views you have. You might have like 10 views and your video is good. But the algorithm doesn't favor your video. Do you understand? So it, it happens. So that if you create good video, you will know inside your heart that, ah, ah, I try. That is it. That is it. And I'm not saying that there are some people that they know that they are doing rubbish and they will still be hyping themselves. If you lie, be deceiving yourself. But you know inside of you, say, that video where you make no good. But if you like, be deceiving yourself. <laughs> what I'm saying is, uh, one of the mistakes I make was I made was not prioritizing quality content and and that was my ignorance of not of not knowing that quality content is not just based off of you posting every time and all of that. So I urge you to make sure that every content you're posting is quality. You never know who's watching, and if you know the kind of brands and the people you want to attract, posting quality content will be at the back of your mind and you will always think about it. Like, ah, eyes are on me. Don't let me post anything. Another mistake I made was, and I think I still feel this way till now. You know that thing that, why is this dog making noise? You know that thing where you don't actually want to grow your subs? Like, for example, you want your engagement and your subscribers to, like, you know, sync? I was always like that. And to be honest, when I, when I got to 2K subscribers, I was not really happy. Like, I was kind of, reluctant to even post it a lot of people even messaging me oh i'm 2k soon and all of that and in my mind i'm like 2k that i'm not even happy about like i want these 2k subscribers to reflect in my views i want these 2k subscribers to, like i want if i have 2k subscribers i mean these are 2k people that actually subscribe to my channel by themselves i didn't force them so they should be able to be interested in my content and i forgot that it is it doesn't work that way i mean i, I had to like go to People like the big YouTubers page, and I realized that, for example, if I go to Dima's page, some of our vlogs are like 50k views, some are even less than 50k views, and she has like, I think, 400k subscribers, and I'm like, let me weigh this together, 400k views and 50k views, are they in the same ratio? Because me, I wanted my, 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 my subscriber count and my views to actually like sync that way, I'm not like, yes, my subscribers and this thing is syncing together. But it doesn't work that way. At the end of the day, yeah, people come to your channel, for example, somebody that does, is not subscribed to your channel sees a video of yours and then they click on it and then they, they like, like it, they will subscribe at that point because you ask them to subscribe. It doesn't mean they will watch the next one unless it's like a series. Say, for example, I made, when I made my house hunting videos, it attracted some people to my channel, right? And um, they, some people actually came for that house hunting video you don't They subscribed. And that was what they wanted to watch. So the, the next time they will only watch my video is maybe when I post something about house hunting again. So it does how it works. And sometimes some people are not even subscribed to your channel and they watch your videos, right? So like it doesn't work that way. And sometimes I realize that most of the time, so even YouTube prioritizes people that have subscribers. Like for example, they will say, if you are not up to 1k subscribers, you can do certain things. If your subscriber is this amount, that's when you can, you know, they reach out to you for certain stuff and all of that. So I realized that even the um, platform is not making it easier. The society is not even making it easier for people. I realize the reason why people, people are under a lot of pressure to, you know, get a lot of subscribers, a lot of following and all of that. But I know that you know my fear. Like I just wanted like for me to have to keep subscribers as you be able to like even right now I still feel that way like sometimes like when I post vlogs and I have like two hundred or something views and I'm like I have two key subscribers. Why am I having this kind of views? But YouTube doesn't work that way. YouTube YouTube recommends videos to people and then when they recommend these videos to people People like click on it, watch it. If they like that kind of video, they subscribe and they might not even come back. And then short is not even making it easier. People see your short, it goes viral, they click on subscribe, they don't they don't come back. 
So at some point, I stopped posting shots because shots was giving me subscribers I did not even, like, they're not useful to me. And people will come to my channel, true shots, click on it, and that's all. They don't come back to watch my enough one videos. But I realized that I need to still grow my subscriber count as much as I want to grow, uh, like, my views. Because it's one of the... Um, it's one of the milestones that is very important. Even when brands are reaching out to you, they will ask you how many subscribers do you have. Do you understand? So, like, uh, but I'm at the point right now where I know that everything is going to fall in place soon, and I have, but I have to be prepared. Do you understand? Like, for example, if I have like two k subscribers and a video of mine goes viral, and that's like a breakthrough. It doesn't matter. I will allow my subscribers to, subscribers to keep going if he wants to go and open to God that the breakthrough comes soon. And I am not saying that you should just, you should not work on your views. Like I work on my title, I work on my video quality and I work on my, on make sure that, on making sure that I allow people to see my video. I'll, I'll get back to that. I'll get to that as well. So I'm not saying that just keep going with subscribers without working on your own views and, and your, um, your channel as a whole. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that. If your subscribers want to grow, it's beyond your control. I mean, I cannot control the doctor's subscribers for my channel. But I'm, not, I'm just saying that let it grow. And while you're working on your content and all of the other stuff that you're supposed to work on, that you have control over. You don't have control over the subscriber count and how many people subscribe. But you have control over delivering quality content and, you know, your SEO, your titling, and optimizing your content. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the fourth one that I wanted to talk about the other time, if I remember that, don't let me divert, is that I always believe that people will just find my channel. Like, if my, if my content is good, people will just find my channel and find my content and all of that. I was deceiving myself because people will not just find your channel because they just want to find it. People will find your channel if you take it to them, especially if you are going like, so, like YouTuber or content creator. You have to take it to where they are. I mean, post your post your link, post the link to your video. I'm not saying spam people. Post the link to your videos. Let people see. It. Take it to where they are. Say, this is what I am selling. I'm putting it on my head. Put your channel on your head, basically. I mean, talk your channel. Talk to people about it. Like, post the link to your videos on your Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, and all of that. Let people see it. Take it to where they are. Like, I always think that if my quality, if my video is quality and is good people will automatically find me i'm not saying it doesn't work especially like if you have if you do like all these diys and all of that and sometimes algorithm favors you but at the same time you have to take your video you have to take your content to where people have i mean for example if you want to buy if you just move to lagos and you need to buy something and you don't know where you're supposed to buy and you come across an heart that sells what you're doing you know like that is something somebody saying we know you're, you we know some, some people might be looking for us so don't worry, we'll come to you where you are. You have to take your content to where you are, like share with them and all, and all of that. Don't just, don't, don't just assume that people will just find it automatically. People might, it might work and all of that, but you have to still play your own part. So I started like, you know, posting my, my links and to my videos and telling people, see this video, I would, you know, and I would like, I would just spice it up like, eh, if you've not seen this video, blah, blah, blah. It's something like that. And I realized that I was seeing the results compared to before so don't assume that people will just find your content because well that was a mistake i made sure <laughs> so like um i stopped assuming that people just find my video because it's just a good video why am i the only one creating content so i'll take it to them and even with that people, some people will even say that oh this person is a content creator this person is a youtuber do you understand so that was the fourth mistake i made now to the last mistake i made as a youtuber last mistake i'll be discussing in this video is not using my analytics ah oh my god i hate the analytics and it always looks like mathematics to me i don't know if you've like checked your analytics before and youtube especially like it's always like mathematics you have to be calculating these or you have to be calculating that you have to be so like i wasn't always using my analytics but i figured that i was missing out on a lot of things by not using my analytics because there are a lot of changes that youtube makes every single time and you like there are a lot of things that you will see that is affecting your channel for example, you know how many people that are not subscribed to your channel that are watching your videos, you know where people are coming from, you know like the channels that your you know the channels that your subscribers are watching most. So that way you know the kind of content you will create. You will never be like, okay, so this kind of content you guys want to see are be so that will make you like want to start creating that kind of content as well, since that's the way they want to see. Like, you know, they like it used to be like even show you the kind of keywords that you 
subscribers are like checking out you know stuff like that like these are the i don't i was in my mind i'm like so these are the things i've been missing out on like i mean if this is how this works and i so i understand why people say check your analytics i mean you could literally tell um how many watch hours one video gives you you could measure how like a video does by location like a lot of things like even by their age the kind of phone they use the kind of so that way it would help you to know the kind of content you create for these people so like i was sleeping on it but thank god i'm i'm awake now for your information i still don't like it but i have to like it i still don't like it but i have to like it because i do not have a choice so um these are the mistakes i made that i want to share in this video i have more and i'm going to make another video talking about those um other ones that i made but this is the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please if you enjoyed this video please kindly give me a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed comment and let me know that you enjoyed this video and share this video with any of your friends that may be green youtuber or coming up as a youtuber or maybe they are already grown and they need to see me so um thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any questions please drop it for me in the comments